guys, it's the Ultimate Tourier with the Bear Hug It Out podcast, and it's been a big week. It's a big week in wrestling, but it's a yeah, big it week. But it's a big week for this podcast and life and life because Lunchbox by the end of this week will be a married man. Actually, that's incorrect. Sunday is the start of a new week. In a match, made it. Is it? It is. Sorry. Is it? It is. I don't believe that. I always think it's the end of the week. Whatever. Oh, no. well, whatever. Sunday, people. Sunday Sunday, 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 Sunday. Tell a buddy, bring a friend, open bar. At Everyone the, is welcome. At the fairground. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Oh, no, he is not getting God, married at the fairground. should have been getting married at, at the, the fairground. fairground. I am ashamed lovely. of you. Do you know how much money I would have saved <laughs> if I got married at the fairground? But you probably wouldn't be getting married if you were going to get married at the I don't know. We would have saved a lot of money. Now, you saved a lot of money, but... But would your bride would have been as happy? No. Yeah, because she's still going home with all this. Oh, Lord. Boom. Even... Boom. Sure. Okay. Now that you are a part of the wrestling community, like officially yeah. on this podcast, yeah. the wedding is a dangerous event to partake in. Mm. As we know in wrestling history, it could go bad. weddings bad. generally don't go as planned. I would love for a uh, Bear Hug It Out listener to show up. And like throw my fiance into the cake and like Please cut a promo this. on me. Please don't do this. <laughs> I mean, it's possible. Please don't God, do this. Actually, the odds are higher that that will happen than things will go off. That's as true. Planned. Hitman is my best man. I'm hoping. Oh, Lord. No, please. There's don't. a heel turn at the wedding. If anybody is capable of yeah. it, it's got to be Hitman. All right, let's go through the history of wrestling weddings real yes. quick. All right, 1985, Uncle Elmer got married. Saturday night's, on main, Saturday night's event. main event. You have no idea who we're talking about, do you? No, I was not born. He's a... Uh, oh, God. In 85? I wasn't born. You know what? I don't know. Just, I mean... It hurts to hear. Just I remember, like, I remember watching Uncle Elmer. Yeah, I, say it I wasn't loud. even, like, an, oh. a thought. All right. Well, Uncle Elmer, Elmer was Hillbilly Jim's uncle. Uncle. <laughs> Hillbilly. Oh, okay. Yeah. Also from Mudlick, Kentucky, I believe. Hey. Yeah. There was only what a up, population, Mudlick? like, 40. Yeah. And they were all part of the Hillbilly Jim family. He was getting yeah. married to... I don't even know who it was. I, I mean, can't remember what her name was. It was some... Stereotypical hillbilly name. Yeah, yeah. Bay and uh, in the middle of the wedding, there is no room here for romance and wrestling. Roddy Piper comes out, mm. disrupts the whole affair, but but yeah. it still went off without a hitch. Still went off. They still fell in. They were in love. So you can't stop love. Wrestling weddings, pretty good at yeah, the beginning. So far, next 1991. Oh, the Macho Man. And Elizabeth the at greatest SummerSlam. Love, the, the greatest love story ever told. The co-main event of SummerSlam, by the way. BT dub. Macho man Randy Savage. Do you take this woman as your lawful wedded wife? Ooh, yeah! yeah. Oh, and no. it, by God, if I don't hear that yeah. on Sunday... Oh, is that how you're accepting? Is that how you're if I don't hear that on it's, Sunday... I'm I'm hitting somebody. Is it a possibility? I, will, I will do that as long as I can have you and Hambone sitting at a commentary table, <laughs> commentating <laughs> like in, before you do it. You got to give a dramatic pause. Yeah, and I'm always oh, getting cold feet. Yeah, I will do it. Okay. Yes. All right. 1999. This is well. Actually, I should say that one went off without a hitch until yeah the reception. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. One of the uh, presents was a cobra, and Man, you know what. So that's what I'm getting. Which, by the way, spoiler. (laughs) That's what you're coming for the wedding. (laughs) Yes. Um, All right. Hold on. Let's not gloss over this whole cobra angle that Jake the Snake. Like you got a lot of balls to be a professional wrestler and let even even though they say it's a devenomized cobra. Uh. Cobra, That's a cobra bite you. It's still gonna hurt. Good God! If you haven't if you haven't seen that clip, go to YouTube. It is nightmarish. Yeah, it's amazingly horrible. All right, 1999. This was Tori they, born then? Uh, please I was God. born in please 99. Please tell me, Tori. Okay, I was born in 99. All right, good. Uh, this is when things start to go a little bit sour. The Undertaker and Stephanie McMahon oh, have an on-screen God. wedding, um, which started with her strapped to a cross and drug out to the ring. And they're on him now. By the power invested in me. Paul Bearer, the, the official. the Lord of Darkness, I now pronounce you as the unholy union of darkness. You may now kiss your bride! Oh, for God's sake! Oh, oh hell no! Oh, hell no! Is there anything you that just gets me going like that one? And he, Stone Cold comes out, lays out everybody, chairs, He'll stunners, 
I mean, <sighs> you know what? He done loves. everybody. Honest question here. Anybody ever in the history of wrestling better at the run in when his music hits? No. 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 I mean, I, I can't no. even think of a close second. No. It's Not, like glass. Yeah, but then what he does when he gets there. I mean, That's it's what I'm just, saying. He just walks in, Cleans. stomps a mud hole, and walks it dry. And then walks out. Well, drinks beers. Drinks, drinks beers. beers. Yeah. But nobody ever, has ever There's done that. There's no better. one. Um, of course, we had, let's see, we had seven months after that, Stephanie got married again yeah. to man. test. Oh, man. R.I.P. test. R.I.P. test. Yeah. Uh, middle of the wedding, we find out. Actually, shenanigans. shenanigans. She had been uh, drugged by Triple H. It and, happens, man. You know what? And married in a, a Vegas uh, drive-thru. Well. The drugged in wedding. Yeah. Probably do a not, lot of that. Probably not going to play in 2016. Probably not Maybe so much. Maybe not do not that so now. Much. Yeah. Uh, we had Stephanie and Triple H renewing their vows in 02. Mm-hmm. Stephanie, as I look into your eyes tonight, I see you. For what you truly are, a no good lying. Swerve, swerve, swerve. Yep, yep. And uh, of course, O2 also brought us the wedding of Billy and Chuck. Oh, that's a great Come wedding. Come on, Rico. What the hell is this? This was all just supposed to be a publicity stunt. Hey, we're not gay. <laughs> 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 Yay! Yay! They're not Thank gay. God they're not oh, gay. God. That would be. Oh, I don't want to see gay people be in love. Oh, oh that would gosh. be the worst. Fans, get that it together. That would be the worst. Ugh. Um, O three brought us Al Wilson and Don Marie. Troubling. Tori, you have no idea about this. So mm-hmm. Al Wilson. A lot of these weddings, I didn't know. Al Wilson is Tori Wilson. You remember Tori Wilson? Yeah, she I was remember. a diva. Her father. Okay. And the angle was that Al. And Don Marie fell in love. Yes, Al was a very old man. He was a very old man. Okay. Have you got audio for? Uh, I don't have audio of him. I don't have audio of him because uh, I don't know. Because <laughs> he's like, I wasn't are we gonna, gonna, are we gonna on tell Tori how this played out? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Tori, he died on top of her on camera. She sexed him to death at the honeymoon. Oh yeah. my god! Like a whole SmackDown was vignettes of their oh. honeymoon in a. And hotel. It was she, like so low like, budget. I don't ever feel bad about being a wrestling fan, she but you telling me the story is making it. me feel really bad about it. Man. Okay, and then uh, this is one's my favorite. Lita and Kane. Wait, no, this one's my second favorite. Lita and Kane in 05. I hate you, Kane, more than life itself. You are a vile, horrible man with no soul. And even though I have no choice but to marry you, of course, I want to make no. it clear that I love, and I will always love, Matt Hardy. I mean, especially broken Matt Hardy. Yeah, uh, who, who doesn't will, love who broken Matt Hardy? I sincerely hope you rot in hell. Okay, so Matt Hardy lost a match to Kane, which is, of course, why wow. she had to marry him. I mean, that makes sense. Ironically enough. Because women don't have control of That's the of same thing that happened to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won a match. Uh, that also led to, not in the same year, I believe, the Edge lead a Matt Hardy triangle. Oh. Yeah. Which was real. Yeah. Which was a real thing that happened, and they played it out on screen. Edge and Lita got married, and this is by far my favorite wrestling wedding. Here we go. Then by the power vested in me by God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. It's Cain! <laughs> Cain, we're coming through the, right through the ring! Oh my gosh! You came from the depths of hell! The depths of hell. There's, a yeah. there. There's so much down there. Just putting some ideas out there for yeah, you, Box. You still got time. I'll, I was incorporate I, these. Like this is for real. Like I was coming down the aisle to Ric Flair's theme song. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't know if I might go with the glass break. Oh, glass break would be a strong <laughs> Just let joy. everybody know that I'm here to kick ass and take names if and you, possibly drink a beer. If you do that, I will toss you two beers when you get up to the front of the aisle, whether you're ready for them or not. <laughs> <laughs> they just 
hit him in the face. <laughs> I mean, no, no, ah! I'd, no, I'd be ready for him. You'd be ready. That you might know. be that might be a little something for the rece- for the uh, okay. initial introduction. Oh, yeah, reception. But you had to come in together in the reception. That's like no, we don't. Little, yes, you do. That's the whole point. I mean, is a union. No, once you're married, you kind of have yeah. to go your separate ways. She wants to be as far away from me as possible. Yeah, she got a ring on it. I don't understand marriage. No, you don't. You don't. Clearly, you sound like an idiot. Who? With who? I will with who? You will. I don't know. With no one. Oh, gosh. Moving on. Marriage in the WWE is very dysfunctional. But marriage in the outside seems to be very dysfunctional as well. (laughs) That's true. That's what I learned today. It's a little more exciting in the WWE. That's true. A lot more exciting. There's a lot more pile driving. Cobras. And cobra snakes. Just just at your wedding on Sunday, look around, make sure there's no area that could possibly be- The depths of hell. The depths of hell. A portal to the depths of hell. And you should be safe. Just look under a lot of things. Yes. (laughs) It felt so good. I can't wait to do it again. (laughs) And again. (laughs) And again. (laughs) I should book wrestling!